back. We're streaming live at today.com with our week-long series, Fresh Cooks Live. Summer sizzle. This time we're outside. We've got Guy Turlin. He's from the online cooking show, Bondi Harvest, which is really, really great. For the last half hour, we've been making a jerk chicken. Uh, you got together with your buddy Mark. You guys both surfed down in Australia. Yep. Bondi Beach, what a great backdrop. So you have a passion for food. You're yep. a trained chef. Yep. He's a uh, filmmaker. Yep. So yep. that's how you guys got the series, and the response has been incredible. It's been out of control. It's grown so quickly, and it's, it's a sort of match made in heaven. You know, he's a producer, I'm a chef, we match together, you know, we've got our clear roles in what we do, we don't get in each other's way, and, yeah. you know, it's just the It's a great so site, you yeah, got to check completely. it out, Bondi Harvest. We're making the jerk sauce, again, for the marinade, yep. you want to make it the night before. Yep. Uh, Guy, again, describe the marinade, what's in it, the Okay, so you've got some ginger, you've got all spice, a little bit of spice rum, salt, pepper, um, some chilies, I mean, leave the seeds out if you don't like chili. Some, some peppers, you can control the heat, obviously, by completely. what pepper that you pick. 100%. Um, yeah, you got spice. the caramelization coming from the sugar, yep. the dark sugar. Yep. Yep. Grind all that up, get yep. it, and get it on that jerk chicken, which we did, or in this case, we're going to do it with a, a steak, steak too, which yep. I can do it now. In there. And let it marinate for how long? Completely. So you want it to marinate at least 12 hours. The okay. So just better, because all that flavor is going to penetrate into that flesh. Overnight. And then when you whack it on the grill, it's going to that beautiful caramelized, you know, that all that flavor, all that sweetness, um, and it's going to taste so good. Your whole house is going to smell out of control. That's Speaking of the grill, is. what kind of heat do you want to have? Describe the indirect, indirect heat. Yeah. So we've got two different sides. So the charcoals are pushed to one side, so you've got a direct heat on one side, and then an indirect on the other. And the idea is that you get your caramelization on the uh, direct side, uh -huh. and then you flip it over and let it and cook, let it cook slowly, slowly on the other on side. The We've got our guys yeah. over here, the Today Show crew is eating, Natalie, Willie, Savannah. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty good, right? Yeah. That jerk is such a distinct flavor. Yeah. 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 Let's get that on the grill. All right. Pop this there, whack them straight on there. Okay. Yeah, we're team effort. Go ahead, buddy. So oh, okay, you got go. the coals on one side, so you put on the direct heat. On oh, the direct heat, yeah, straight on there. And like I said, ideally 12 hours marinating with the Again, that's a so flank steak. You pick that because it slices nice, makes good for a steak right. sandwich. Completely, completely what about the bread? You've got the, how do you put the garlic on the bread? Okay, so I'm just going to rub it on there. So just sort of break up the, uh, the garlic. You'll just sort of rough smash it and then Completely. literally just rub it on the bread. Yeah, so I'm going to whack that on the grill as well. You run that over We're there. We're going to whack a lot of stuff on the grill, guys. Completely. Right? It's all about grilling. I mean, and that's what you're after. You know, you're after that sort of beautiful colors line. And for me, a beautiful steak sandwich is like, you know, it's that sort of crispy, beautiful toast. Yeah. Different Al, how is it? Have you had a bite of it? What do you Fantastic. think? Fantastic. Yeah, it's good. It's good taste, awesome. huh? And then you just you know, have a go. Just rub it straight on there. Okay. And again, it's these simple little secrets that make, you know, something that can be great, awesome. You know, it's just a little bit of garlic, that little hit of that beautiful flavor. That's good. Yeah, so good. So I think we'll sort of start plating this up. I mean, this is one we've done beforehand. Uh huh. I mean, look how beautiful it is. You know, and you yeah, have that caramelization. So just slice him up. You guys tasting the uh, the jerk flavor and the meat yeah, and yeah, the, the chicken? The ginger, the sandwich, whatever happens. Oh, really? Absolutely incredible. Oh, thank you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I might get you to plate it as I slice. What do you reckon? Do you want to just lay yeah. some, um, some yeah, aioli yeah, on the bread? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Get some of this going. Beautiful. You guys serve this in your restaurant too? Yeah, we do. We do a mean steak sandwich. Have you surfed on the East Coast yet? I have actually. Yeah, I had do you so like much it? Fun. Love it. Absolutely love it. Carson, how long can we marinate with the, with the jerk sauce on? Okay, oh, 12 hours, you were saying. Okay, overnight, we'll don't be afraid food. to get yeah. it. Yeah. Let it really soak up with yeah. both the steak and the chicken. You want that flavor to really penetrate the meat. Get in there. Yeah. And yeah. the butterflying of the chicken is, is kind of a cool thing. It's, it's sort of intimidating, right? But you can actually take it to your butcher, sure. and he'll just pull the back one out, and you can yeah. lay it flat. No time um, at all. And it makes yeah. such a big difference when you're barbecuing to have it flat like that. And I love this right. avocado salad. Yeah, like what did we, yeah, what is this? Yeah, we didn't get to that. So you've got, you know, avocado, your spring onions, some coriander, and a little bit of citrus. And the idea is that it cuts through. You know, the, the jerk flavor, it's quite rich and smoky once it goes in the barbecue. Is it so meant to be like a, a side salad or you put it on the chicken? Oh, either or, how yeah. would you like to eat it, I suppose. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. And really, I always have a hard time figuring out what's the best steak for a steak sandwich yeah. when you're sitting there in the meat department. Like, which yeah. one do we like slice is better than a steak? steak. That's oh, a flank steak. steak. That's yeah. a flank steak. Yeah. Yeah. You do flank too. Okay. Well. That's the answer. Yeah. Yeah. So you're just going to layer it up. Look those beautiful tomatoes. Good steak sandwich. See, look, this is a power, it's got power lunch right tomatoes. here. Oh, I know, I know, right? 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 Thank you, Granary. <laughs> it's like eating a salad. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then that's it. Beautiful. That yeah. is awesome. Gorgeous guy. marinated steak sandwich. Thank you so much, man. It was my pleasure. Thanks for having me. You got it. Appreciate it. Thank God. Thank you, everybody. Join us all week long, and you can send us your photos of your finished products. You can share it with us. Hashtag Fresh Cooks Live. Tomorrow, we're going to do calzones and pizza on the grill out here. We're going to continue with that. Go to today.com and please join along with us. We appreciate it.